What's up, guys and girls? ZP with Styles of Life. Yo, about to go out in the city with my roomie. So happy, guys. Never even set. We're gonna go on Broadway, walk around, go shopping a bit, and I'll actually get to experience it without having to go to an interview in like 30 minutes or whatever. So it's been like three days now, and honestly, it's been unreal. Um, everything's been happening kind of how I want it to happen. Like, it's been going very smoothly. This is the apartment, by the way, guys. There's Shiloh. That's Neha's room. We got bikes on the wall in the kitchen. My room's downstairs. I wonder if I should grab shades. Nah, I'll be good. But yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you guys on the spin. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys on this adventure with me. Let's go. City. I live in Brooklyn, so the first day I got in, settled in, um, moved my boxes in, met my roommates. It was awesome. I was catching a cold though, right guys? And I had three, four interviews the next day on Thursday. Woke up and slept through my two alarms at 4 or 5 in the morning. Um, and I was supposed to take the subway into town, but I decided to take a lift, listen to my mom's advice, and made it to my first interview a little early. And it was at... Um, a very large corporation and I walked into the building and it was like a freaking 1500 square foot hallway to the welcome desk I was like what what this is not even necessary right but still it was really dope it was really surreal it was really eye-opening I was catching the cold by the way so um oh I gotta talk about like getting that BLT sandwich yo so like I woke up I was like I'm not gonna let this cold get to me right Drowned myself in ibuprofen and went to the bodega next to next door to me and picked up a dayquil and uh, some orange juice. Ordered the lit while or, while I was waiting for my lift. That while I was in the bodega, it was like a bunch of little middle school, elementary kids like with their backpacks on, ordering, getting food before they go to school or whatever, with their mom or their aunt or the parents or whatever. I hear four kids order a BLT, so I was like, yo, I have to order a BLT later. And I did, right? But I'll talk about it in a little. I should record myself eating it because, yo, that BOT was so far. Anyway, I got I got my, my day club and my orange juice. And it was only four bucks straight up, no tax, which is really dope. Bodega's clutch right next door. Literally like 10 steps away from my front door, yo. Got into my lift. It was like a 40 minute ride into the city. And it was only like 20 something bucks, like 22 bucks. Super cheap, right? Thanks, man. Super cheap. And, um,. Got to my first interview, like I said, walked into the building, and it was like a 1,500 square foot hallway of nothing, just black carpet. This pay. Hey. <laughs> you find anything? No. Anyway, it was like 1,500 square foot oh, hallway, and the welcome desk was right there, checked in, went to the interview. Didn't do so well because I was feeling like off and a little sick. And I got to my next interview via subway, and I started learning the subway system. Super dope. Killed the next interview, met with like four people. Um, wanted to hire me right there, but they wanted to bring me in again next week because the vice president was busy. So I'm gonna meet up with them tomorrow. Got to my next interview, killed it. Oh, in between that, I went to go get food at this breakfast spot that I thought was vegan only. And they had breakfast sandwich. Which I saw chicken outside, so I was like, all right, I'm gonna go in and get some protein. 
And then they, they only had like healthy food. It was like uh, healthy carbs, no fried things, all baked, white eggs chicken. only. <laughs> it wasn't fake, it was real chicken. I ordered a breakfast sandwich, it was turkey bacon, and it had the freaking bombest cheese I've ever seen in my life. I was trying to take a picture of it, it was oozing out. It was like straight Ninja Turtles cartoon cheese, not the real life one, like the cartoon. It's marshmallow and pepperoni. Yeah. Yeah. Took a bite into it, it was so hot, but it was so good. And then I was like, yo, this cheese on the sandwich is that good? How good is the pizza? Oh man, I'm so excited for New York, guys. Mm. Yo, that sandwich is so bomb, though. Went to my second interview, killed it. Went to my other interview in Long Island City. Wasn't planning on going there because it was Long Island, but I was like, I checked the map. I set up the interview anyways because what's the worst thing happened? I flake. Yo, shout out to City Mapper app, though. That thing gets you to where you need to go with the quickness and the accuracy. But once you Long Island City, is only 15 minutes away from my second interview, so I decided, hey, I'm gonna go, go to interview and uh, get some experience in, and I did that, and uh, got a job offer on the site. So first day in, not even 24 hours into New York City, I got a job offer, so I'm happy about that. Um, can't complain. It wasn't that much money, but hey, it's a job offer. That means I got room to negotiate. That means I got a backbone and some confidence in me because I do have a job that will sustain my living. Um, if worse comes to worse, right? And I still got a bunch of interviews to go. Oh, by the way, I was really sick. Uh, I had a cold that Thursday, uh, and I still killed my interviews, right? So I took the subway home. It was about like 20, 30 minutes. And after that, I was uh, the stop that I stopped at is about like a 15 minute walk to my crib. And it was perfect, because I forgot that I had a phone interview at that time, and I was worried that and I decided to get some groceries on the way home too because uh, I was like, you know what, I gotta like make it a trip anyway because Shiloh's at home, I'm like, yo, he's, he can make it through. I know he's a good boy, right? So I go, walk, and also I get phone calls. I was like, oh, that's right, I got a phone interview. Killed that interview, they wanted to bring me in for two positions, um, which is about a couple days now. So I got happy about that. Walked home, stopped by a grocery store and bought some groceries. And super dope because uh, Oh, I went to get groceries and I was like, yo, large avocados were only a dollar at this grocery store. So I was like, I'm about to make chicken fajita burritos. Little did I know, things add up and it ended up being like 80 bucks of stuff. All good though, I bought the groceries, walked home and then I forgot that grocery bags can get heavy and for longer walks, right? I was thinking to myself like, hey, I used to carry a crap load of grocery bags uh, because I won't, wanted to only make one trip when I would help my mom with the groceries. But little did I know, when you have to walk two, three blocks, those bags get heavy and heavier by the step. But I made it home, guys, and um, uh, went home, dropped off the groceries, changed real quick because I was swimming balls in my suit, and then I grabbed Shiloh. And he didn't pee at all, so I'm really proud of him. And he was alone, first time in the city, or first time in the new apartment, all alone. Um, and he didn't piss himself, he didn't go potty, so I'm proud of him about that, and um, what did I do? So I changed, and then I took him out, let him go potty, and I stopped by that bodega that I said I was gonna stop by to get a BOT, and I ordered a BOT, and by golly, I should have recorded that, yo, because that BOT was the most fire sandwich I ever had. It was like, a, they called it a hero, which was like about a foot long sub, right? And it's just bacon, lettuce, and tomatoes, and chicken sauce. I'm saying the chicken sauce because it was mayo, but it was like the most fire mayo in the world. Cause it was like McDonald's mayo, but like the bacon was perfectly cooked. It was like crispy, but it still had to chew to it and it had the perfect flavor. And the lettuce was shredded, tomatoes was bomb, the, may the chicken sauce was fire. And the bread was like a Quiznos bread kind of thing. It had like a, uh, I'm, a I'm gonna record myself eating another one one of these days. You guys will catch it, don't worry. I mean, I'm living here now and it's only 10 steps away. I'll be eating that at least once a week. I already know, cause it's, it's the move guys. It's really the move. <coughs> but yeah, that was my first day, right? That was a Wednesday, and then I went home and chilled, rested, hung out with Shiloh, had to prepare myself for the next day uh, for the Friday, because I had about four more interviews on Friday. And guess what, guys? I got a job. I got a job. I got an actual job. I accepted the job offer. Not even two days into the city, and the city's treating me well. And then fast forward to Friday night. Wait, not even fast forward, the same day, look at this. Same day, but in the beginning of the day, I went like to four interviews, came home, got a job, 
celebrated. I told my roommates in the group chat that, hey, I got a job. I'm, t I'm gonna be going out tonight. You guys can join me if y'all want. If not, it's all good. I'm gonna go out regardless. Went out. Uh, Pay then went out with me, and I went out with her. Well, I went out with Pay then. We went out together, and her friends joined us, and we went to this bar called The Keep. Oh my god, this is oh my gosh, it was such good vibes. Like, I met so many people there, uh, connected with connected with like 15 people on the gram there, and it was lit. Honestly, people were showing me love. Um, I was showing everyone love there, and it's, it's getting more real to me, guys. And I'm I'm just truly happy and blessed to be here. Like. I couldn't complain. The bar life is lit. Like I'm used to last call being at 2 p 2 a.m. Over here I'm going out. And they got last call at 4 a.m. I couldn't even last. I was like sick and tired. But I was like happy to be out. But then I wanted to stay out. But I was just so tired, so sick. Had a stuffy nose. So I was like, you know, I'm gonna go home early, guys. Um, and it was like 3:45 a.m. <laughs> but hey, it gave me a good idea and good vibe and a good. Uh, it gave me a. You give me a good idea of what's to come here, you know, like what, how everyone moves here, what the motion, what the motions be like, and uh, I think I, I think I'll be able to maneuver fine out here, guys, uh, especially from what I see. Um, but yeah, today's Sunday. Like yesterday, I didn't do much. I was just catching up on sleep, resting up, and then like, resuscitating my sickness. You know, um, I was supposed, to, I was invited out last night, but I was like, you know, what? I'm staying and just sleep. Um, I don't sleep much, so I was like, hey, let's let's really rejuvenate this body. I don't start work at the job I accepted until the 9th, so I got 9th of July, so I got about two more weeks. Um, but hey, I got some interviews tomorrow, now I'm going around with Payvan, as you guys see, we're going shopping. Um, we're up to hit Central Park, so you guys are about to see a bunch of that. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm just happy to be here, yo. It's real stuff out here, just the real energy that you feel in me and that I bring out. I throw a vibe, people catch it, people don't. It don't matter as long as you throw the vibe, guys, and I'm throwing it. Bop, bop, bop to you guys. Glasses, 
that time. I'm gonna throw it, I'm gonna throw it right here. Right here. Just bop. Yo, if you wanna follow it, hit me on Instagram, it's right here. Bop, 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 bop. Bop, 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 bop. Pay underscore, underscore, exo. There's two underscores? <laughs> two. The first one got taken, so I had to do double. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just another Sunday. My first Sunday in New York. I thought I wasn't gonna do anything. Pavin is just like, here, yeah, you still wanna go shopping with me? I was like, alright. So I got my camera instead of Shiloh. Broadway which I, Soho. Good shit. I was gonna buy a suit, but I ended up. Oh shit, she's holding my shit. Hey, shout out to Pavin, holding my shit. I got it. I got it. <laughs> but hey, Sunday was a success. We're about to go back to the crib. Uh, I'm about to make chicken fajitas, burritos. I'm so excited, I've never had his burritos. We'll see how good they are. Stay tuned, I'll let you know. <laughs>